My name's Matt Sav. I'm a creative director. I work across photography, filmmaking, design, art installations. Being a creative director is really collaborative. It means working with lots of different people, but also sometimes it means working by yourself entirely. It just depends on the project and the scale of the project really, as to whether I will fully realise a project myself or bring on other people and work with a team to kind of make that happen. So collaboration is a massive part of my work and the reason for that is just because I love people and I love working with people and I love being around people. Better work comes out of collaboration and I think, I, I don't know, I, I do it because I get asked to do it and I do it because I love doing it. I think that as long as you have, depending on what your role is in the collaboration, as long as you have a kind of a strong sense of what is right and wrong, it works really well. Like I kind of just go with my gut with most things. On set, I'll always want all my crew's opinion and creative input on most things. And we'll let people kind of try out whatever they want, but at the end of the day, I'll still kind of hopefully feel what's right and wrong as we're doing it and kind of go down the right path. But I kind of use all my friends and the people around me constantly as sounding boards. Like I'm always asking people if I have yeah, a project on, I'll just throw ideas at anyone, you know, if I've got a friend that's a doctor or whatever, like I'll still ask them for their opinion on a creative project because you never know what might come out of it, you know. Having heavy art direction in my work is really important and creates a cohesive aesthetic across lots of different things that I do. The main influences come from originally from musical theatre because my mum used to take me to lots of musical theatre as a kid so I'm really really lucky. Lots of the kind of colour palettes and the aesthetics from that have kind of somehow seeped into my subconscious and come out through all my work. The aesthetic is like usually pretty loud, pretty colourful. My mum always told me to tell the truth. There's, she, she'll, tell, she'll tell the truth even to her own detriment a lot of the time. So I sort of always try and tell the truth where I can. I think that just automatically comes out in the things I make. It's quite honest, you know. People often call my work like raw and are like, you know, lo-fi or something. I don't know, but some even if it's quite slick, that's still sort of somehow it ends up getting put in that category. And I think that's just because it's honest. It's not trying to be something that it's not ever. The medium that I choose is usually, it depends if it's personal work, it, it comes down to the concept and what I'm trying to get across. I often approach things like it's a design problem. So I think with commercial work though, or work that's sort of collaborative, it's often people coming to me and asking me to use a certain format and then I'll work within that realm to create the work. But it's always about the, the medium fitting the project, yeah. So like analog or digital film or photography or whatever sculpture I'm making. It's kind of, yeah, it's got to just be appropriate to the project. The models that we choose, we're trying desperately to include people from diverse backgrounds and gender identities as much as we can. That's really important to us. And so we're desperately trying to increase our networks and find people and interesting people and people that represent a really large array of society. Two of the common themes across a lot of the work that I do has been or tended to be about intimacy and isolation and they're kind of obviously opposites but I think that's because it's where my personal life is constantly in flux between those two things and I think most people's lives are to some extent. So I find them particularly interesting, those extremes of being incredibly close or incredibly distant. I finished high school in 2005 and I went to study graphic design at Curtin University after sort of a year off. I ended up transferring to do, I kind of tricked, <laughs> tricked the school into letting me go on exchange in the wrong year when I wasn't supposed to. So I was supposed to do my third year at Curtin in Perth, but I transferred to London and did another second year there and ended up 
continuing my degree. I met up with some friends who were in a band. They were on their first tour over there, their first UK tour. One of them passed me a video camera and was like, oh, do you want to come on tour for the next week in this tiny splitter van and film? Because we got given this video camera from the record label and I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. All right, I'll just like, not tell anyone where I'm going and just, yeah, didn't go back to my university and just had the clothes that were on my back and slept on the floor in the hotel rooms for a week. I went around the UK with them and then that kind of ended up turning into a kind of other career when I got home and going on tour with said with the same band all over the world for a few years yeah documenting and taking their press photos and stuff then I like accidentally kind of had a kid in there somewhere too <laughs> and then I finished my third year of uni at some point at Curtin just after, yeah, my son was born. Just started my business after that, really. Kept going. I have travelled and wanted to live overseas and stuff. My kids brought me back to Perth. <laughs> More than anything. It was kind of a blessing in disguise, though. You know, I tried living overseas for, for a while, away from him, and I couldn't do it. So I came back because I needed to be close to him. I love it now because of what it enables me to do you know I love I love living here I love making work here the lifestyle here is for want of a better word easy and I guess I'm, you know making art here is interesting because you're sort of in a very very easygoing environment for the most part especially if you're like privileged like myself and can kind of get work where I need to When someone would ask me to take a photo because I had a camera but I had no idea how to do that kind of photo, I would just say yes and figure it out. And more times than not, it kind of work, works out. Sometimes it doesn't and it fails catastrophically, but uh, it's fine. I just kept saying yes and then I got asked to go on a tour or whatever and I said yes and then I just, yeah, got asked to make a music video. I just said yes and then figured out how to do it <laughs> myself. <laughs> just did everything myself. Recent projects I've been working on are Proximity Festival, doing the sort of creative direction for their graphic design and their kind of marketing rollout stuff, marketing materials and their promotional photos, and been working on a music video for an artist called Jack River, which is in post-production at the moment. We're currently working on a couple of pictures for new work and a couple of short films as well, like slowly chipping away at them to try and make them come to fruition. Producing films as well is something that I'm really interested in doing uh, long term. I, I sort of have started cutting my teeth with music videos, but that's definitely just the beginning. You know, I really, really want to start making shorts and then films. Film is interesting just because it's bringing in all these things that I've been interested in previously. So I've made music for about 15 years now. I've, you know, been interested in theatre and musical theatre, like I said before, for like many, many years from like, since I was a child. I've been a designer and photographer and so film is like just this beautiful synergy between all these things. It can be really, really powerful. It's like a really solid kind of medium for making art and for being able to present a pure perspective in a way, you know, without the noise of commentary or other things going on. It's a perspective, you know, and you can kind of watch a film and be given a new idea or a new perspective in quite a digestible way. And then you can make a decision on whether you agree with it or not, but it's like very accessible, you know, to people, which I love. You can give people really new and difficult ideas through film in a way that they can really taken on board. What drives me to make art is a, a sort of inability to do anything else. <laughs> it's kind of the truth, the unfortunate truth. I, uh, I've tried a lot of things, you know, I've tried doing a lot of things. I've like, I don't know, worked on a vineyard, worked as a, ba worked as a baker's assistant, worked in retail, worked in hospitality, worked as a labourer, like, I've started using the term creative director because it best describes what I do. I think this allows me to have kind of some autonomy in my life, some choice in the way I interact with the world and, yeah, the things that I get to investigate. I get to choose myself. But I think at the same time, it, will, it, it opens up opportunities working in the arts to 
be able to work on community projects and things and actually can be a way to work in various different areas. You gain skills that I think are applicable to many different areas that you can kind of potentially move into if you wanted to. So it doesn't feel restrictive.